Campbell improves to 12-3 and three in Big South Conference play, taking the final two games of the weekend. And Jeff, here in game three, it was starting pitching of Ryan Chassie that really set the table for this win. You're exactly right. He came out, did exactly what he needed to do, really worked on it and had a great scouting report on how to get these hitters out. This is a really tough Radford offense, and he really showed what he can do to really help get the hitters out on their own. And he kept them off balance exactly what he needed to, and he was able to go a pretty long way in this game. Seven innings for Chassie today. Michael Hora went eight innings yesterday. Starting pitching was excellent here this weekend. Kimball starting pitching, they they come in week in and week out and really prove – why they are at the top and why they continue to stay at the top. They go in, they throw strikes, they got a power arm in Seth Johnson, they got a pitch ability guy in Michael Horrell, and they all go out there and they give their best effort and they compete to get this Campbell um, this Campbell team the best chance to win. It was a windy game three. We saw some sack buns, small ball, and just finding ways to score runs. And that's exactly what they need to do. I mean, they knew they knew that coming into this game it's going to be a little windy, so I know that for a fact that they were out there practicing, really making sure that they have, they have that approach down. So they can just move them, get up the runners on, move them over, get them in, just like we saw today. A busy Easter week coming up with a trip to UNC Greensboro on Tuesday as Campbell gets the series win here over Radford.